The technology contained within the modern motor car can be both fascinating but slightly baffling nowadays as well. Most of such technology exists to make our cars safer, more efficient and just better than ever to drive. But some of it can be quite confusing for the average motorist. So in this A to Z series, we will attempt to unravel the mystery of technology that is the modern motor car. This week, the letter C. C is for chassis. The chassis of a car is its main core structure from which the suspension is hung at each corner. Some chassis are made from carbon fiber and form what's known as a tub, but in most modern road cars, the chassis is made from a metal, sometimes steel, but occasionally aluminum, as in all Jaguar Land Rovers. The chassis of a car provides its core strength and the stiffer it is, the better it is, because a stiff core structure enables the suspension to then be more finely tuned and just to work more effectively. The chassis can also be tuned on the move by using a system called adaptive dynamics, in which the damper settings can be altered electronically to suit a driver's desires and the terrain on which they're driving. Rough road, softer dampers, smooth road, harder dampers, and so on. Except you never have to get the toolbox out to make the switch. C is for connectivity. Are you connected to the internet while on the move in your car? If so, connectivity is the reason why. In Jaguar Land Rovers, a system known as In Control Touch Pro provides drivers and passengers with a 10.2 inch touchscreen to play with that works in milliseconds and features all sorts of goodies such as predictive navigation, dialogue interaction and 10 gigabytes of media storage. The system also connects to your mobile phone via Bluetooth to provide simple hands-free operation and full access to the music on your phone. C is for cruise control. This works by using speed sensors to maintain whatever vehicle speed a driver selects via the steering wheel mounted buttons. Very simple really. Jaguar Land Rover vehicles, however, also come with optional adaptive cruise control, which uses radar technology to enable a vehicle to maintain its distance relative to the vehicle it's following. C is for carbon fiber, one of the strongest, lightest materials used in road cars. But carbon fiber is expensive to produce because the process to create it is complex and highly skilled requiring resin bonding, molding, and then baking at ultra high temperatures. But by using carbon fiber in certain areas, such as on the rear wing of the Jaguar F-Type SVR, for instance, engineers can strengthen specific parts of vehicles and reduce localized weight in a way that just wouldn't be possible using steel or even aluminum. C is for coil springs. Used in a car's suspension, coil springs are almost always made from steel and pre-tensioned to provide whatever level of stiffness is required by an engineer. Heavier cars use stiffer coil springs because there's simply more mass to control. Generally, the softer a coil spring is tensioned, the more comfortably a car rides. So long as the dampers can maintain control of the natural bump and rebound characteristics of the spring. C is for climate control, which is a posh way of saying air conditioning. All Jaguar Land Rovers are fitted with cylinder-based climate control systems with separate front and rear temperature adjustment in the lesser models. But in the higher end vehicles, it's also possible to tune the temperature to all four corners of the interior and also to preheat the cabin from outside. This used to be done with oil-fired heaters, but is now handled by remote premium app. By pre-programming the app, it'll turn your engine on but keep all the doors locked so that no one can steal the vehicle as it's warming up, or just occasionally in the UK when it's cooling down before you climb aboard. C is for catalytic converter. Catalytic converters are fitted to the exhaust system of a vehicle to help reduce the toxic pollutants produced by its internal combustion engine. 
Electric vehicles, in other words, don't need or have catalytic converters. Two-way catalytic converters work by oxidizing the various pollutants produced by a combustion engine into a mixture of carbon dioxide and water. Three-way catalytic converters, on the other hand, also help reduce the oxides of nitrogen as well. Next week, the letter D.